You've been looking at issues of access for a long time. We will come to uh, La Grey uh, chemicals in a, in a moment and talk about that. But you went into manufacturing yourself because you saw a need. What would you say is the biggest argument right now why Africa needs to have manufacturing capabilities, not only for vaccines, uh, for outbreak preparedness, but to meet the routine health needs of African populations, starting from the active ingredients like you were doing at La Grey Chemicals and to making the finished pharmaceutical products themselves? Well, COVID-19 has made it very clear that, hey, health security, you must have your, your own source of your raw materials, your drugs, and so on. Uh, I remember somebody showing me a picture of China when they had the lockdown. Everything was shut down completely. There, was no, there were no planes flying. There was nothing. And even after they started opening up, there weren't, you know, materials coming in. So obviously, people were using up the stockpiles they had. Uh, India was still open until India now had this, this issue. Yes. Uh, uh, the fear, of course, that we all have is that with what has happened in India, it could very well happen in any one of our countries in Africa. Mm -hmm any one of them could easily have, have that. So if people did not understand it before, because you could step out and you could get your um, penicillin or whatever from any store. I wasn't there in Africa, so I, I don't know, but I was there during the Ebola um, outbreak. And the advantage of having a manufacturing facility right there to be able to handle things. What we did, we already had a formulation for hand sanitizers when the Ebola outbreak came up. Nobody was making hand sanitizers in Ghana. Everyone had to start scrambling. We got our data out. We had had it approved already in Ghana, but we hadn't done anything with it. Mm. We quickly, we had some bottles. We quickly started making those hand sanitizers and they were flying off the shelves. When the COVID started, I think part of the protocols in, in West Africa, at least I know, is that they're using azithromycin. Yes. I had calls from people reminding me, saying, where do we get it? Well, azithromycin happened to be one thing that we made that's the active ingredient Mm. as well as the finished dosage forms. And we did that basically as a proof of principle. It was a small little plant. It really wasn't that big. And why did we do it that way? Because that's what the market said. We, we conducted our, our market studies in split the, the fees 50-50 with the Africa Project Development Facility, which is a branch of the IFC based in Ghana. And interestingly, uh, as they went around and they talked to manufacturers, because my original intent was go build a full-blown API manufacturing facility. Mm. Well, <laughs> the results of the, of the market study told us it's just not going to fly. You're not going to make the money. One particular manufacturer in, in Ghana who was asked the question again many years later said, if they make it and they sell it to me, even for one dollar less than I will get it from India, I will still prefer to get it from India than to get from them. Very simple. There was no market. They, they felt that they were, there was no need to buy from us. The best thing was to just buy from India mm. and from China. So we built just as proof of principle to be able to show, first of all, there are no waste disposals for API manufacturing. We had to design our own processing plant for the waste mm -hmm. and everything. We put this thing up. We did a little tech transfer from a company in India that we worked with. The key thing for us, and that's one thing that I, I will take away, I, the most positive thing I would say I can take away from our journey through that was actually getting young people and teaching them what this was all about, yes. giving them the right thing to do, the quality, the everything. So this was just a proof of principle. Do people now realize, do those manufacturers who said, 
if La Grebe makes it for one dollar less, I will not buy from La Grebe. Do they now realize the importance of having a local manufacturer there that at the time when COVID hit and everywhere was shut down, if I had a local manufacturer that I could go to and I could say, give me my antibiotics, give paracetamol, I would say no, because that has to be done in ton quantities, right? But at least the small scale essential medicines could still be done. I wish I could ask that person again. Yes. What do you say now? Because if the local manufacturers themselves did not understand the importance of having a fellow manufacturer there making active pharmaceutical ingredients, how would the government understand it? Yes. You see, that's this is this is the thing. And that's why I said, you know, vaccines, I see vaccines as being easier to implement mm. than putting API manufacturing in. Okay. When you start doing the API manufacturing, what where are the raw materials? We, we should have a thriving petroleum industry that should be able to give us all the solvents that we need for API manufacturing. Because at the end of the day, even though the API is the heart of the medicine, if you have the trained chemists and chemical engineers and so on, it's a pretty straightforward process. Yes, there is a, a move now from batch manufacturing, which is what used to be the case, to continuous manufacturing, so that it's, you know, it's more efficient and you can make more and so on. Mm. But it, it's a pretty straightforward process. It's any organic chemist who has worked in the lab and knows how to mix the chemicals to make something can make active ingredients. So it, it's pretty straightforward.